Hello, welcome to the next edition of Jank Tank. Today, we're going to be trying out the invasion of, of Kaldheim in a Pyre World Tree slash Molten Vortex uh, combo deck. So we'll see if this actually can compete in, in the Pioneer format. We have uh, Moltas to go with it. We have uh, Slow Gurk as a way to hopefully, you know, gain extra value, get, make it a decent sized threat. Then we have Raptor as well to hopefully flip the invasion. So that's what we're kind of hoping for. And uh, we have uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker because it's the best card in the format. We have Spite as a way to hit our battle. Then we have Ren and Seven as an alternative when gone. So we're going to break it down the deck list as a whole, but that is just like some high level stuff that I, I that you know kind of hopefully goes together and hopefully can put up some solid wins if you like this kind of content don't forget to like comment subscribe and leave a comment down below and let's get into the actual deck list so this is iteration two the first iteration that i tried i had a lot more five drops i had the new borgamos i had borniclex as a ways to just get lands put it in my hand uh and the less the list felt too slow. So I cut all that. I slowered my curve by uh, adding fables and rampaging raptors. So hopefully now we have a better aggro plan. The uh, combo style approach. And we have filtering and looting. So hopefully that helps. So sideboard wise, we do have some volleys for mono white. Spirits, grease fang, stroke for green. Hearse for Grease Fang and other graveyard strategies like Phoenix. We have a uh, Brother's Hood in as a way to fight through Kavoke, as well as, you know, other decks, similar decks like that, very aggro centric deck. Then we have our disputes for the control matchup. And that is our list. Keep in mind, we don't actually really have anything for the Rakdos mid range matchup. Maybe Stroke to counter the Shelly, but that's about it. So let's get into the gameplay. See the deck in action. Triumph, go. Deserted Beach, passes. Team Vets. This looks like it might be a control shell, so I don't think I need to stomp on turn two. Pass turn. Brushland. Spirited Companion. So yeah, I definitely could not stomp turn two. Passes. We untap. Invasion, that's like a decent top deck. Fable the Mirror Breaker, a go. Pathway on white. Reflector Mage, bounces my token. Gets Fresky, hits me for one. Take it. Raptor, hit ya. Next turn, I think I'm on an invasion. Thrabies, overgrown farmland, hits me. Take it. Cracks the clue, passes. Flip the saga. Stomping grounds tapped. Invasion of call time. Hit face. All right, so he blocks two points of damage. Pass the turn. So next turn, we're gonna stomp, stomp is our plan. And then we get to this run. Another spirited companion plays another overgrown farmland. Attacks for two. Take it. Den of the bugbear. Play Basaju. Stomp the invasion. Stomp spirited companion. All right. So this should flip. All right. So so we stomp a dog. Now we don't lose it. Then we go ahead and copy. Go to combat. Smack you for eight. Aganju's the main one. Okay, takes four. Pass the turn. Hail is reconstruction. He scoops it up. So I guess we bring in that. Go down. Brother's hook. Bone crusher. I think that's all I need to do. Run it like that. All of fountain. Rabies. Passes. Stomping grounds. So I want blue and green turn three. So I guess it doesn't matter. Play that. Tapped. Go. Charming prince. Hits me for one. Take it. Down to 19. Stomping grounds. Tapped. Go. Hits me for three. Take it down to 16. Innkeeper, Coast, Slow Gurk, Pass the Tur, Pathway on Green, Passes, Dream Root, Invasion of Kaldheim, No Attacks, Pass the Turn, Collect a Company, Eldrazi, Displacer, and a Innkeeper. I see. Plays a Farmland, Skyclave Appetizers, Eat the Slow Gurk, Gets Frisky, Take it down to 8. Red. With a, a rock ball. This is very tricky. So one option, I could play Ren this turn, make a token. Two, four, five, six, seven. It's probably not enough to keep me alive. The other possibility is I can just wrap the board, right? Yeah, I should probably wrath. So we go ahead and Brotherhood end, and then just do a mulch. Okay, blinks the Skyclave. That way the token dies too. That makes sense. 
Oh, wait, no, no, no. He gets to eat my invasion. That's pretty good. We get a 4 4 token then. Play Mulch. Take a forest. Pass the turn. Innkeeper. Reflector Mage to bounce my illusion token. He's out of cards though. Slow Gurk. Slow Gurk. Vortex. Snipe. The Innkeeper. Make the guy a little bigger. Pass the turn. Cracks the clue. Fibblefip draws a card. Tap headquarters. Spirited companion draws a card. Passes. Another land. Ren and seven. Minus make a token. Steam vents untapped. Scoops it up. We won a match. One and oh. Let's get into the next. Forest. Willow Geist. Passes. Steam vents tapped. Go. Pathway on black. Old girl. I mean, long look troll. Oh, wow. That's sweet. Hits me for one. Take it. Forest. So I have an option here. I could go for the spite. If he has two creatures or three creatures he pitches, he gets ahead. But he does go down so far down on card advantage. I think it's worth it. So we will attempt to kill that before it can start regenerating. Mm. So he has to discard three creatures to stay alive. One, two, okay, three. And we will put back an invasion. Girl Sprout is useful. Pass the turn. District hits me for six. Down to 13 passes. All right, a four drop. That's not helpful. So I could shock myself. That prevents two damage. But then I lose my goblin token. Not very impressive. The other option is I could tap this, play Girl Spiral, take six more. I think it'll just spiral. Hopefully we top deck a land. We don't. All right, pass the turn. I don't, I still think that was the correct move just because, I mean, we had to force him to have it. Otherwise, this is just so hard to remove. Take another six, down to seven. Mulch. Play Fable and the Mirror Breaker. We are not getting the lands we need. Bean Artisan. Hits me for five. I don't think I could block it. I think I'm just dead. Yeah, we're just not finding lands. This is not working out. Let's just concede so we don't show anything more of our deck. So we bring in Unlicensed Hurst. Go down the spirals. Run it like that. Triumph. Go. Swamp. Deathrite Shaman. Den. Unlicensed Hurst. Go. Play the forest. Destroys my hearse. Hits me. Down to 19. Coast. Fable and the Mirror Breaker. Go. Meyer. Blows up my Fable and the Mirror Breaker. So you, so you probably bought those in for Fable. Mulch. Vortex. Stomp the Shaman. Hit ya. Narcome uh, Narcomoeba. After casting a Lurgoyf. Passes. Play the Beseju. Shoot the Lurgoyf. Put the Vortex at the bottom. Cast Bone Crusher. Smack you. Another Lurgoyf. That's a 4-5 this time. Hits a Creeping Chill. Drains me. Attack in the air, I assume? Should. Passes. Mulch. Put the lands in hand. Discard. Stomping grounds. Breeding pool. And we did. We kept the mountain just in case he somehow makes it bigger. We could still play this mountain and shoot something else. I'm going to play Catcher Triome. I guess I still have this treasure to shoot. Go to combat. Smack you for six. Blocks. Okay, trades. Yeah. Goblin token dealt with. I don't really want to discard my land to shoot one of these. It doesn't really seem worth it. Pass the turn. District. Fiend Artisan. 7-7. Seven, seven. Passes. Unlicensed Hearst. Hopefully that helps. And that should help manage this thing. So we're going to go ahead and eat a Lurgoyf Lurgoyf. Drink the Fiend Artisan. Go to combat. See if he's willing to do a trade. Okay, that resolves. Shoot the Artisan. Pass the turn. Destroys my Hearst. Plays a Prize Amalgam. Passes. Cycle. Another land. Pass the turn. Willow Geist. Hits me. Take it. Down to 13. We will go ahead and shoot the Geist. We untap. Turn on the Den. I don't think I play the Steam Vents as a land. Hit ya. Pass the turn. Gets back a couple threats. Gain some life. Oh, a threat. Oh, kicker. So he gets two. Feed Artisan. Goes to combat. Do you smack my face? Does not. Pass the tur. Stitcher supplier. Got a Lurgoyf and a troll. Stacks the supplier. A Lurgoyf. That is a 9-10.
I was expecting some like Sidisi or something. That would have been cool. But he gets a word goyf. Which I don't think I could beat at this point in the game. It would take a miracle. Even if some wet how I draw the invasion and flip it this turn. Stomp face. Play the bone crusher. Pass the turn. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. Attacks with this too. You should. But my options is I could vortex away the prized. Do that. Take 10. And then I can swing back for 8. That's probably not enough. I just, I just don't see a world where I could win with getting rid of my bone crusher. Actually, wait. I'm still alive, right? Oh, that's good. I'm at one. If he has another creature, he wins. If he doesn't, we might have a shot. Turn on the dead. Go to combat. Hit ya. Discard a land. And win. Run back. Meyer. Passes. Triumph. Go. Swamp. Shaman. At least that's not a troll. Stomping grounds. Untapped. Stomp. Pass the turn. Forest, Geist, Passes, Hearse, Eat the Shaman, Play Steam Vents Tapped, Pass the turn, Lurgoyf, Did not mill a single in creature, Alright, hits me for two, Coast, Raptor, Hedja, Chomps, Okay, yep, yeah, take three, Another Lurgoyf, Alright, that's pretty good, That should sprock a couple Geist triggers, right? Actually, wait a minute, I think I have to eat both of these right now. Make it that gives them only one counter. Versus these two, each would give them an individual counter. Hits me for three. Take it. Fable. Invasion. Okay. Resolves. We play the land. Tapped. Go to combat. Smack you. Takes it. So that means this gets dealt damage. We get to flip our invasion. And we just pass the turn. Next turn we get Spite and Mulch, which gives us hopefully enough lands to shoot down his board. You might, this might actually be the uh, Pyre of uh, World Tree win. Stitcher Supplier. Okay, so instead of giving you that back, I'm just going to go ahead and eat two creatures from the yard. That's me for six. That means I'm down to seven. We're hanging on by a little bit. Lucky enough for us, this does not cost mana. To deal two damage. We do need more green mana though. Mulch. Alright. Those are all tossable lands though. Because I don't want to shock myself. Mulch. Trying to find a untapped green source that doesn't shock myself. I guess. Well I guess for this point I can just play the land. And spite the Lurgoyf. And put a fable to the bottom. Then I can shoot here. Pitch a land, shoot here, he gains four, and we go ahead and eat up the Lurgoyf and Geist. That will shrink his threats. Go to combat. Do I attack? I think so. I mean, he doesn't have that many hasty threats. All right, chomps. Takes three. All right, two and oh. Let's get in the next. Coast, go. I meant to play the, tri <laughs> the Triumph, but sure. I got off put because the opponent says nice things about my videos. <laughs> So, Fable, sure. Passes. Catch a Triumph. Go. Cracks it, gets an island. Sacred Foundry. Tapped. Seemed reasonable. Passes. Sure. Breeding Pool. Untapped. I know, we're kind of cheating by playing this card, Fable and the Mirror Breaker. But Spice kicks in next turn. Where we get to play in an invasion of Kaldheim. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Opponent's doing something spicy. Leyline Binding. That's not spicy. Uh, sure. I don't really need this second one. So go ahead and drop that. Play Invasion of Kaldheim. Pass the turn. So now we have a Rampaging Raptor, which flips this thing. Another Sacred Foundry. Passes. I hate doing this, but I think... So I have two options. I can go for Rampaging Raptor, flip this right now. I definitely know I'm playing this Besaju. The other possible options, I could Slow Girt plus Spite, which I think is the... Flavor win. Pass the turn. Uh, we're going to put Besaju to the bottom. Maybe that was incorrect because there's a chance this could be fires of some sort. Incarnation, but with Jegs, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be that. Makes a shark. So next turn I could Raptor plus Stomp. Or I could Raptor double Raptor. That's kind of spicy. All right, let's see if Raptor resolves. Rampaging Raptor. It's probably a counter spell. Okay, that's good. 
That works for me. Now the problem is I can't stomp. Oi, play a land tap. Go to combat. Hit the invasion, hit base. See if he can't make a shark. He can't shock this thing or something. All right, we flip the invasion. Hit him to 16, pass the turn. Tap triome. So he finally assembles domain, I think. Yeah, you need a green and black, which gets done there. So he passes the turn. What else do you have? Please don't tell me you're going to blow up my pyre. You can deal with my, uh, I'll let you deal with my slow gurk, but. Oh, get Jegs in hand. That's fine. Untap. Stomping ground. So we go ahead and mulch. Stomp. Stomping grounds. Untapped. Bone crusher. Hit you for five. So I have six points of damage in my hand. We just pass. Nissa. Hollow fountain. Untapped. Produces a mana. Omnath. That's a good magic card. Turns out. So he gains some life, right? I think we win. I am pretty sure of that. So, shock here. Pitch a land. So we have a Bone Crusher now. All right, got it. So against this style deck, it looks like he's primarily a ramp strategy. We'll bring in that for Spiral, down that, maybe up a Volley to answer the Omnath. Maybe we just bring in a Dispute for Omnath. Outside of that, I feel comfortable. Run it like this. Try them. Passes. So I think we're going to lead off with a Vol. Veil. Go. Grow Spiral for the opponent. Gets a Garden. Passes. Play Den. I don't think I Mulch. Pass the turn. Grow Spiral. Seems good. You got an untapped land. Maybe you could piggyback some spells. Sacred Foundry tapped. Stomping Grounds tapped. Man, he's he is out ramping the player that likes to ramp. Uh, how am I supposed to beat this? Slow Gurk. Pass the turn. He just skipped through his turn, I think. I think I uh, threw him off track. Raptor. Attempt to attack. Unless he has a uh, shark. Possibly. All right. Marches my dino. Well, if he's a true fan of my, my channel, he would know not to hit the dinosaur. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you're watching this video, it's okay. I don't think I want to besage you as a land. Play Raptor. Go to combat. Smack you. What? No. Oops. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It was something. I wanted it to attack. Makes a shark. Yeah, we we knew that was coming, so we saved our slow gurk. Leyland binding, which is why we kept that Besage you. Hits my raptor. Breeding pool tapped. Passes. So this is a decent turn for us. That's a land we could play. So we go ahead and oh crap. I forgot. <sighs> that legendary mode, which is fine. We're gonna play Fable, so works out. Fable and the mirror breaker. Go to combat. Attempt to hit you for eight cycles. Just takes it. Okay, down to nine. Past the turn. There's definitely a world where I, I might have wanted to mulch to get a bunch of lands to pitch to Fable to grow this slow gurk. Some synergies here. I'm just playing this because it's a strong card. Happenly, I didn't know that also it works with mulch and slow gurk. I guess I, I knew I guess I knew it worked with slow gurk because pitching lands helps. We're gonna say yes, we're gonna pitch. Pitch, grow the dork, Ren and seven, play a tap land, make a six six. Sure, hit you. Do you offer the trade for Jeff? He does. All right, so we get back both of these lands. Let me just pass. Swamp, three. Okay, nothing. Passes. Flip the fable. Only if I had a way to, I guess, play a Besage you. Go to combat. Smack, smack, smack. What is he doing over there? So much mana. March, a gigantic shark. Okay, an 8-8 eight, eight shark. You got it. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, how do you block? Blocks here. All right, dinosaur time to shine. Pump you, pump you. Okay, that, that works. Good job, dinosaur. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just uptick. Ren, take a den of the bugbear, pass the turn. Turns out, Rampaging Raptor is just good. <laughs> uh, it's nice because you we get so much mana from everything, and the fact that it, it works well on multiple multiple axes, because he it's a it's a sink for our lands that we have, and it helps flip our battle. So overall, I'm impressed with the changes I made.
All right, add some mana. And eventually he's gonna get to the point where he's gonna, oh, should have an Omnath. Yep, he has an Omnath, plays the Omnath. But he did play his land for the turn. So that means I definitely do not want to besage you anything. So next turn I could play a land, copy the tree folk token. You have a march or something, makes a shark. So he has a chump, chump locker, uptick Ren. Get some lands in hand. Cycle. Slow Gurk. This deck is kind of resilient. I like it. It's a lot better. Hit you for 16. So he has to block both. I'm surprised he's blocking with Omnath. Pass the turn. I would have thought he would have blocked with Nissa. Unless he has another Omnath. Another Omnath. That's what I was afraid of. I don't think there's a world where I actively ever want to besage you anything but i'm gonna go to my in the end stop for it because the only way i could besage you anything is if he somehow hits one of these i guess with a leyland binding to fairy that's a card all right talks my fable siege rhino siege rhino in the house hits me for three. Oh, he hit did he hit he hit and ran so yeah maybe i should have chomped another nissa keeps a new one What's my best top deck? Not a land. Ugh, that's a land. All right, we'll just do that, I suppose. Put all of those into play. And go to combat, I guess. Attack? Chumps with the rhino. That's, that's not nice. <laughs> so, pass the turn. Draws a card with Teferi. Hits me for four. It's Ren. At this point, I don't really see a point in saving it, so we'll just let it die. Elish Norm. Okay. A second Omnath. Draws two cards. He has no white mana up, though. So if he ever draws a Leyland Binding, it doesn't help. Plays a tap land. Sure. All right, gets mana. So I guess my biggest thing is I have to, if he does Leyland Binding, I'm pretty sure, based off the wordage, I have to... Um, Blow it up, and I should keep my be able to keep my token. Cycles. Okay. Passes. Bone Crusher Giant. Stomp the Teferi. Cast the Bone Crusher. So he could deal 7, 11. So I think I just smack face with the Tree Folk. All right. Chumps with Nyssa. We just pass the turn. Goes to combat. Attacks with Omnath. Maybe I should have blocked it with the Bone Crusher, but that's fine. Another Nyssa. That's his third Nissa. There's his fourth Omnath. So, yeah, that's good. Hollow Fountain. Tapped. Produces a bunch of mana. Gains some life. This deck could actually just use Ancient of Treachery. Just take my stuff. Growth Spiral for the opponent. All right. Does four to my face. Makes some mana. He is stabilizing. And I'm unable to draw anything other than a land. I guess I did draw Bone Crusher. Marches my token. Passes. We need, we need a threat. Fable. I guess that's sort of a threat. I guess I should have known I was drawing this, right? Because it's third from the top. Pass the turn. Yeah, I'm just so far away. Even if I could tack with eight here. Yeah, I have to calculate this at some point. I don't know how I'm getting through this on this Elishnorn, though. Goes to combat. Attacks with Nissa. Okay, it's like, that's the least likely one you should attack with. I'll just double block with goblins. All right, just passes. He only has 20 cards left in the deck. Yes, we will pitch those two. That grows there. Play a tap land. Pass the turn. Can't seem to catch a break. All right, plays a land. Grows the Omnath, or uh, activates uh, Omnath's abilities and Nissa. Uh, he has a lot of mana. He's got 26 life. I can shoot the here, put mulch to the bottom. I really wanted to. So he's going to do that. Hit me for four. No. He has nothing else. Okay. Whip Fable. Play Rampaging Raptor. Pass the turn, I think. Actually, I could attack, attack, attack. See what happens. No blocks. Okay. Pass. The question is, am I dead on the backswing? I do have a spite. I do also have Din. So I do have multiple ways of keeping myself alive. Next turn, I could just copy here, swing out again, and then I could pump into these. Hopefully get close to lethal. Goes to combat. Attacks with Elishnorn. Attacks with Omnath. Can I risk? 
not blocking is on that. I don't think I can. I think I have to block it. Probably should wait and see what he names. Okay. No, no, no. Shoot that. Put mulch to the bottom. Another land. Okay. Turn on a den. Turn on a den. Go to combat. Attack. Trades. Goes to two. Pass the turn. Keep the lands in hand. In case I draw a molten vortex. He might be getting a three. Oh. Grow spiral. He went through all of his Omnaths. Pretty much all of his Nissas. Got it. Three. Oh. GG's. So what do we learn this week about this deck? We went 3-0 and after yesterday going 0-3. The changes actually made this deck quite strong. Raptor was a huge addition. I actually, um, the one thing I was originally thinking of is maybe Jagatha's worth it. But then I started thinking about it is I just added Raptor. Is there a good replacement for Raptor? Probably not. That also works with Jags unless you put in Ezekiel's Chariot which is pretty decent with Fable and the Mirror Breaker, but it has no other synergies. So I do like Raptor in this list. And I love the fact that since we did put a lot of lands into play, we have 27. We're able to utilize, capitalize, and deal eight damage, killed an 8-8 shark. So that was quite powerful. And since it's non-legendary, it's our best target for Fable and the Mirror Breaker to copy because it's a quite aggressively static creature. Um, Rin did perform pretty well because that was my original thought process. I forgot that I had Raptor in the list when I was thinking about Jeff Jengatha. I was like, Ring could be like Borgamos and Fibblefip and be fine. I think Raptor is too good to that works with Invasion of, of Cold Time. If you have any other considerations, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you can be alerted for future videos. And until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day.